If you're like me, you use your browser all the time, you'll find the new tab page on Chrome is a little bit boring. Let's go ahead and spice this thing up. So firstly, we'll be talking about one feed. This combines the bookmarks that we got from the original Chrome with the Chrome apps on the front page, but also includes a search box and a little area which shows news and social. On the top right, we get notifications. This case, it's showing me that I have a friend with a birthday today and I can click this to get over to the news reader and you can see it's very nice to just flip through and you can add feeds as you go. So very nice, this is one feed. Next up is currently. This provides you with the current time, the current weather and the forecast for the next four days. Clicking the bottom right icon here will take you to a more in detail weather report and clicking this icon here will take you to the standard page in Google Chrome. There's a bunch of settings with a bunch of layouts so you can change the background and the style if you wish. So that is currently. Here we are with awesome new tab page and yes it's literally called that. We have a bunch of shortcuts here and some widgets. Now they downloaded separate extensions here. You can also search your open tabs and flip through the apps that you have installed on the left and see your recently closed tabs. So this has a very metro-esque feel and that is awesome new tab page. Next up is modern new tab page and this uses again the metro style and has a bunch of different tiles that you can add. You can see they're live updating with information from various sources. You can also switch over to again those apps that you've installed. You can see your bookmarks down here and your recently closed tabs. You can change the colors, background size, tile size and a few more animation options. So this is quite an elegant new tab page called modern new tab page. Next up is new tab page. It's literally just called that that follows the Google Now styling. As you can see, we have those little widgets down here. Now, unfortunately, I can't change this to Celsius, even though there's an option, it doesn't appear to work, but it also has my bookmarks, uh, it does this from my around where I live, and also the news on the left-hand side and all those apps that I've installed. So that is new tab page. Next up is something that doesn't have new tab page in its title. This is incredible start page. And as you can see, it shows all my bookmarks, my apps, and my most visited sites. On the left-hand side, we have another area for bookmarks and all my closed tabs and a little area to write my notes. Now, the great thing about this, if you go to the advanced area, you'll see that you can actually sync this with your Google account. So all your notes can be backed up if you stop using this. So that is incredible start page. Next up, we have Bookolio. Now, I created a new user for this, plainly because it contains all of your bookmarks and lists them in this area here, which is a nice idea. If you have them all in folders, it will list everything so you can get quick access. You can also see your recently closed and most visited up here, change your options in Chrome, see your applications, and also search through a bunch of different search engines all within the same page. As you can see, it just changes the logo so you can search it that way. So that is Bookolio. Next up is new tab with a K. As you can see, we have the clock, mail, word of the day, Facebook notifications, RSS and weather. And the focus here seems to be on design. We have apps all along the bottom, which are the ones I've installed. And in the options, you can go ahead and disable some things and customize as you wish. So that is new tab. This is Humble, which prides itself on being simple and customizable. As usual, we have the most visited apps, recent bookmarks, and the weather, recently closed tabs. If you head to the little icon in the top right, you can add your own custom CSS code in here, change the appearance, and add some basic settings such as your location. So this is Humble. And last but not least, we have X new tab page, which provides us with a nice little speed dial, including the weather and also folders. We have a cloud area to download our wallpaper. We have our bookmarks. We can go to the standard Chrome tab, our recently closed tabs, and also the extensions. And then in the settings, we can change the layout of how everything is done. Also, we have this nice little cloud backup for the settings. So that pretty much covers it. This was 10 different ways to spice up your Google Chrome new tab page. Let me know what you think post a comment and I'll see you guys in the next video.